Did you think you'd see this day? I didn't think I'd see this day uh, in March. <laughs> Back on March 26th, Jeff Molstock's wife drove him to the hospital when he couldn't breathe. We were scared especially he was scared. The veteran film and TV photographer used his camera to record more than 11 days in the hospital. Impulsing, high fever. In the hospital, I, what I saw was nurses that were frightened. The fear in their faces was pretty intense. Malstock said he dodged a bullet and joyfully returned home, but the COVID experience led to some PTSD. My family has been 100% lifting me up, wiping the tears. <laughs> Turns out Molstock, a father of two, is well respected in his industry. And seven months after his ordeal began, he received a phone call in mid-August. This was an opportunity to be a, a director of photography on a new series, and Ed Burns reached out to me. And you can go your own way. Money was running short. It was a uh, it was something I needed. The show Bridge and Tunnel is about young people from Long Island with big city dreams. It's one of the first shows produced after COVID's first wave and director Ed Burns adapted to health concerns. He'd say, you know what, this scene can play outdoors, it's safer. Thankfully, we shot for a uh, better part of six weeks and nobody got sick. A relief for Mulstock, whose immediate family all battled COVID at some point in 2020. Helene Mulstock has been with her husband 35 years and was happy to see him working. I was just so excited to see that light go back in him again. As we enter the new year, the Mulstocks both say that they'd be willing to take the new COVID vaccine, although Jeff points out that he still has antibodies in his blood from being sick back in March. Mulstock tested negative for COVID New Year's morning, and he's getting ready for a new project now. He says he will always remember that phone call in August. It was just a blessing, I mean, to, just to, to get the opportunity. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.